today, I've got two crazy games for you against Sambo, one of the best players in the entire world. I mean, look at this metal profile, guys. Three T2 badges, a T1 badge, and a T3 badge. It's absolutely insane. So without further ado, let's get it, guys. All right, here we go, guys. We are on the map Glade here versus Sambo. Yes, the um, he is one of the best players in the entire game here. Let's start with their Ice Tower right there. I'm going to start with my Druid right here. He's probably going Boomer Sub Ice, my guess is, because who else starts with an Ice Tower in Glade? You know what I mean? We both start with an Ice Tower. So Boomer Sub Ice versus Druid Sub Farm. Should be a fun matchup here. Should be a fun little one. Um, we gotta be ready for the rushes though, because they could be sending me some crazy little rushes. And it's kind of hard to defend on this map with um, Druid Sub Farm. So that is what I'm a little bit worried about, but I think we'll be fine here if we play pretty well. Get my Omen down as well there. Perfecto. And we will continue on with our Eco. Awesome. So we need to get on this about 70 lives here. Hopefully we leak about that amount. I might have leaked a little bit past 70, but we're good at the end of the day. Yeah. Leaked a little bit past 70, but it's all good. That was part of the plan, guys. Part of the plan there. Part of the plan. And then we just start saving for a farm. And they do have the boomer as expected. They do indeed have the boomer ice. And I'm guessing the third tower is the sub here. Okay. Let's upgrade this to brambles. Target my brambles all the way in the back. Perfect. Just so then we can get those going pretty quickly. We want Sky and last as well, just so it's shooting against the grain over here. Gonna be very that's also very important. Also quite important there. Okay. And then I need to upgrade this to hard thorns because it's starting to struggle with blue balloons. There we go. Now we're fine. Perfect, perfect, perfect. P pretty much perfect start. I did leak down to 56, which is a little bit more lives than I'd like to leak most of the time. But, you know, it is what it is. It, it was still a good start nonetheless. It was still a good start nonetheless here. We just wanted to make sure we're farming as hard as humanly possible to get an early monkey wall straight to the goal. So, let's try to be very aggressive with my farming strategies here early on. I will get a lightning against um white balloons or green balloons at this in the next round because this guy cannot handle them alone so I will need a little bit more defense which is all fine. Awesome. I don't actually like their open spot to be honest because I like to play if I have an eco strategy I like to place my open right here because then you can throw trees down and it'll pick up the AI balloons all the way at the top. So you actually get a little bit more money there. So I don't necessarily agree with um Sambo's open spot right there guys. I don't honestly agree with it. I'm a, I'm a hater. You could say I'm a hater. Excuse me. I think I will need a Druid of Wrath for um, constant yellow balloons because they're going to send me a ton, but I can wait on it a little bit, probably. Because once you have the Druid of Wrath, it kind of shreds. So, I mean, we're fine there. Yeah, we're Gucci. So, what we'll do here, actually, is I want to slow down my eco a little bit, just so I can get a banana plantation here. So, we're going to slow down my eco a tad bit. Get an early plantation. We can go back to, uh, we can go back to space green. I mean, space blocks now. I want to get a valuable bananas on this as well. Awesome. And we'll start saving up for my um, reactor. Rea they call me Reactor Randy, actually, guys, in the club. I don't know if you knew that, but they do call me Reactor Randy in the club. So just a little um, a little thing there that not a lot of people knew about me. But I do like to go for the reactor here for that reason. We'll send them a little bit of a rush ourselves. Nothing crazy. Just want to force his um, boomerang, pretty much. And we'll keep farming. Keep on farming here. Got two of those bad boys down. Nice, nice, nice. Our eco's actually looking pretty solid as well here. No complaints on the eco side of things. Awesome. He's actually slowly going at me, I think. So let's actually get heat tipped here. And we'll get a submarine in the back ready. Put that on, we should keep that on first the entire time. I don't know why it was on last. That was actually kind of scary for some reason. It was on first. Yeah, he slow ecos and then he um sends a lot. Is the plan with him? We're good there. Calculated, calculated leaks. He slow ecos so my druid stops attacking fast. Like you're sending, he was sending green balloons there. I don't know if you saw. I should have placed my druid honestly a little bit over to the right more, so then that wouldn't happen because then it would be reaching these balloons easier. You know what I mean? That would have been a lot smarter for me. There, placing my druid a little bit more to the right. Definitely made a mistake there. My druid placement. Slight mistake on my part, but it's okay. See if they send me to Moabs. I send them one. I think we're good against these. Yeah, we're good. Cool, cool, cool. And we forced their um, Moab press on their side as well, which is great. Absolutely great there. Keep throwing on the brambles right there about. So then. Fine. Awesome. 
got our trees up, so we're good there. I guess I could have boosted against it. Boosting it's actually probably would have been better there. Then I could greed more, yeah. Boosting it's definitely would have been the better play. So I could actually greed with it. It's okay. Not a crazy big deal or anything. We can burn our boosts against future rushes. So like messing, he's gonna keep rushing me. Probably like BFBs and stuff. Let's boost. Good there. Calculated. I'm waiting. Feel nature's wrath. He just keeps it in BFBs. Holy cow. This guy's relentless. There we go. We're good there. Nice. Holy cow, bro. That was scary. We're good, though. Guessing he's going to send me the ZMG rush. I don't know if they can afford that, to be honest, though, because they might not have 26 defense if they go for that. Because they've sent me so many BFBs at this point. That if they send me ZMGs, too, they might not be able to afford um, Impale for round 26. Also, my Oban placement was actually kind of bad. I placed it too low because I can't get the trees to pick up AI. I mean, it picks up AI Moabs, but it's not really the best still. All right, throw my trees again. That new tree spot is for the... What's it called? the DGT rushes. Okay, I messed that up really bad, but we defended. I couldn't upgrade to my first strike capability for some reason. I think I kept hitting the wrong bind on my keyboard or something. But we're good. We're good at the end of the day. I think I kept hitting the wrong bind. Or I, hit the, I probably had the wrong submarine upgraded or something, because look, this is a sub submergent support for some reason. At least he wasted some money on that, you know? Because those rushes aren't cheap, I guess. I'm waiting. We're good there. Oh my gosh. Okay, he's going to out me with DTs here. There's no chance they don't. Holy cow. I don't have a boost left, which is bad. Not have a boost left here. We need to get a decam up top here. Or decam on the DT so my first strikes can hit them. See if they rush. I think we win this. I don't think they can send enough DTs. Send another set. I think it's a win. I think it's a win. Please, please, please. Let's go, Jim! Yes, sir! That was crazy! Oh my gosh. GG's only. Wow. All right, guys. We have found Sambo once again in the arena. So we're going to do another game here. And um, I'm going Dartling Ninja Farm here. And looks like they're going probably Alchemist with... um. Alchemist Ninja and Farm. So this will be a fun one. This will be a fun one. Alchemist Ninja Farm is a great strategy as well. So this will be an interesting one for sure. We make, need to make sure we are kind of aggressive here and um don't let them get good farms, basically, is the whole goal with this matchup. We gotta send a lot of rushes, so let's keep our eyes out for that. But um, yeah. Alright, here. Let's um get my omen down round one. I like to place it right here. Yeah. That's actually where they place theirs as well. Okay, cool. I feel like this is probably the best omen placement from what I've seen. We're gonna send them space screens as well. Space balloons do, it tend to do more damage against Ninja Alchemist early game than group balloons, just because the, Ninja Al the Alchemist has pretty good group popping power. So I like to send space to force more leakage on their side, even though t typically get a little bit more money throughout the game if I send grouped early. I think space here is probably the best plan of action. All right, let's get my farm down right there. Perfect. And we'll upgrade this to brambles, throw it on the brambles right there, keep this on strong as well. I think I can upgrade my farm again as well before I start upgrading my dartling, because I'll go for the powerful darts process with my dartling, that's the way you want to do it now. Instead of getting up the um, faster farming, you want to go for powerful darts first, but yeah. Okay, let's get it up now, perfect. 
Also, should try to be anti-stalling these rounds a little bit, which is going to be... It's hard in Dino Graveyard, though. The anti-stall rounds. It is kind of hard. I will anti-stall when I get an HRP later, which will be... My eight, uh, Hydrocket Pods will be at the bottom left of this my side, so that will anti-stall pretty well. But besides that, nothing I can... Not much I can do on these early rounds. Then went for the Stronger Acid. We're going to Balloon Boost as well. I want to force more upgrades on their side than just Stronger Acid. I want to force, like, a double shot or something here. Yeah, we forced the double shot. Great. My sig keeps it in white balloons though, because it's got his ninja chasing, so it's good for us. I think he got up um, what's it called? Seeking Shuriken on that as well. So force another upgrade, which is fantastic. The more upgrades we force, the better. Alright, now we're gonna get my faster barrel spin here in a little bit. There we go, beautiful. It's funny that they um with the Dartling change, because Dartling farm Oban with Ninja is honestly probably better than it was before the update. Like the Dartling change. With the reduced pierce doesn't really affect this loadout early game very much and you just get cheaper hydro rocket pods by 150 dollars because the base dartling's cheaper you know what i mean so it's almost like they buff dartling with this loadout which is pretty crazy so that's why i've been enjoying using this loadout a lot and it's actually really really strong in a lot of maps like hard maps like core Root's not the best but maps like dino graveyard guys it's it's fantastic so i mean ninja kiwi may have accidentally buffed dartling you could say it's like pretty crazy pretty crazy okay let's um keep farming here well, actually no we'll start saving up for a um Try saving up for a third tier farm. Also, my stupid binds. I can't, dude, with the binds. It literally just like every time I click it, middle of the screen. Like, what's going on, bro? It happens so often for me now, too. It's so annoying. It's literally so annoying. Even more annoying than playing feline. Well, actually, actually, I might take that back. I might take that back. But still, it's quite annoying. Because I now have to drag these towers, and that's not like what my muscle memory tells me to do. You know what I mean? I've been playing this game so long, I got muscle memory for stuff. And it does not tell me to drag the towers down. It tells me every time to press my bind. So I try doing it, and then I'm screwed. You could be like in the comment section, Ryan, why don't you just drag the towers? Let me try reprogramming my game real quick. Reprogramming my brain real quick. How about that? You know? Send them some purples on top. We forced a boost. I'll take that. I'll take a little boost forceage. I still don't have my Hydro Rocket Pods because I knew they'd be super passive this game. Let's see if we can force a um, Ninja upgrade. Okay, there we go. We forced the, uh, what's it called? Shinobi Tactics and a farm cell, I think. Holy cow. Uh, that was a very small rush. That was, I was just sending a bait rush, basically, there. That was mostly just to bait stuff. And it worked really well, so I'm happy with that. That was actually great. That was really good. Okay. I think I've played the early game quite well now. Now we kind of just chill on the back burner because they have up a lot of defense. We forced a boost as well, I think I remember. That's good for me. I doubt they'll rush me at all. Their strategy is supposed to be super passive, so I doubt they'll be sending me any rushes. They'll just slow down their own farms, you know. We'll just save up for my fourth tier farm here. Maybe I'll send them some Moabs with region rainbows and ceramics behind after that. They sold their Shinobi tactics actually, so that's bad for them. Okay, we forced a boost. I'll take it. So he's down to one boost now. See if we can force tree upgrade. It's $3,000. There we go. Forced it. Perfect. Stop rushing. Once they get up trees, you stop rushing. You don't want to rush into the trees, obviously. Let's upgrade to our trees. And I can sell my dart thing here in a little bit. So then I can up farm harder. There we go. Should be fine here. Good thing they actually rushed me there, though, because it's good to force people to rush, you know? It's really good to force them to rush me. Can I place you, please? Holy cow, it won't let me place towers, bro. We'll send them a fortified ZMG here. I hate this bind is the most annoying thing ever. Oh my gosh. It's so hard to place towers. Let's throw my trees right there. We gotta keep farming as hard as possible here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sell you in a little bit. Get that up. Beautiful. I have some dartlings in the back. Send them a bit of a rush here. There we go. Force that. Beautiful. Now they don't have the sticky bomb on the ZMG, which was what I was going for. Now we can rush them again when the cookie monster's down. Right. 
I think these are good rushes. Yeah, I forced a farm cell there. They're actually really struggling here. They might die. Oh, well done. Dude, that was actually so Oh, they died. GG's. Wow. That's 2 and 0, dude. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video of the two games for Sambo. And if you did, please hit the like button and subscribe button with your forward rhyme like out. Peace, lads.